Hello again from Setrite Products. In this video, we're going to show you how to install the Setrite spacers underneath an existing flange that's already connected to the plumbing in the bathroom. Uh, this situation is going to happen when you go in and you're going to remodel your bathroom. You're going to tear out all the flooring in there and put down a new floor, maybe a concrete board and then some tile. Uh, so what's going to happen is when I tear out all the flooring underneath this flange, this flange is going to be floating up in the air like this. A couple things happen here. A lot of people think that the tile guy is going to be able to put his tile underneath here and support the flange, but that's never going to work and I'm going to show you why. When you tile, and I take a piece of tile and I put thin set down and I take the spacer we'll use as a simulated piece of tile right now. If I push the tile underneath this flange, and I push the tile down into the thin set, I'm going to have a gap here where this flange is not going to be supported because I've got to push the tile down. So what we've done is this. We've designed the set right spacer very simply so that it snaps in half. And if you notice in the back here where my finger is, there's a snap groove right here at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock on the spacer opposite the layout arrows. You'll take a spacer, you'll snap the spacer in half, you'll slide it underneath from the side. Whatever thickness you need to support the flange, it could be one spacer, it could be multiples of spacers, it doesn't matter what it is. Once you do that, you line up the holes, you screw it to the floor, and go ahead and let the tile man tile around it because your job is done. 